this is Pius at d2jsp.org and this is going to be my short series over getting your D2 eTal bot set up. I have plenty of people who PM me all the time about it and I figured, you know, instead of answering the same question 13 different times, I can probably just go ahead and make a pretty easy to follow video. If you have any questions at the end of this video or after you watch all of them, please keep in mind this is only for this setup. There will be another one for actually setting your bot up to run, setting your bot up to leech, downloading Serby CD key changer so you can run multiple CD keys. All of that stuff will be separate videos so it's not, you know, one 30 minute long video. <clears throat> apologize if I sound a little bit sick. I'm getting over upper respiratory infection and the echo is because I'm sitting in a cement room at work. So let's get started. We will go here. Download link will be below the videos. You have this which is your step-by-step -step if you feel like reading it to install it. Tortoise SVN. You will go here. 32-bit windows, 64-bit windows. I have 32. You will click download. Whenever it downloads, you will install. I will go ahead and, you know, mine's already installed. I will go ahead. I'll make my eTal folder on the desktop. Once you make a new folder, we're going to right-click, do SVN checkout. You want to make sure that yours says, you know, project eTal. This is not what it's supposed to say. So we will go here. You will get this, the stable trunk branch. That's what we're going to do. We will go ahead and click OK. Whenever you do OK, it will start to download. I will pause the video, save us some time. Alrighty, it has finished. This is what it will look like whenever it completes. It will say, blah, 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 check out finished. You will click OK. I apologize if this video is rushed. The last one I did took me 16 minutes. The quality looked like crap. And now here I am once again recording. Um, so our eTal folder, we got it installed. Go ahead and open up eTal, D2NT, eTal Manager. We will right click, Properties. I run as Windows XP. I do not know why I do that. I just do that with all my programs. I run as administrator is a must for this program. Click OK. We will double click. We will click yes if you are running Windows 7. We will do our first time ever doing this, we will do add. It will be our runner, which is what we will be setting up first in the next video. Auto detection. I only have one D2 installed on this PC. My other I run four. If you are running more than one, you will click those, you will find whatever D2 folder you want it to run out of, more than likely will be in your program files, etc. You should know where it is, it's yours, mine is on the desktop. I will go to desktop, I will go to Diablo 2, I will go to game, open, CD keys, I will show you how to do those later, so do not worry about those now. Your account name, mine is Pius, obviously. I play out of US East. My character is the first one on the character position screen. Games will be called B Chaos. You do not have to put a dash, no after anything else. Right here, ntbot.ntj. That is the bot that we will be running. Do not worry about running anything else. This one runs perfectly fine despite what other people may say. They try to make it 10 times more difficult than it really needs to be. So we've done that. Everything is good for now. Click save. OCD will do things many times. We will go here. Scripts. We will go to ntbot. Not ntbot oog. Not manual join. Not leader starter. Not anything else. ntbot. We will open that up. Full screen. I run chaos. My bot is level 97. Yes, 97. I don't want spam bots in. I character difference to 90. Join chat after game. True. Do not make your T's and F's capital. Ever. Won't work. I run out of Op Monarchs, obviously. Whenever I join channel, my login is dot login. Everything else here is irrelevant. And I apologize that y'all have to sit through this while I do it, but some people are not as fast as others and they need a very thorough explanation. 
say game name. If you want it to announce in your channel, which I do for public runners, I will have true under say game name. Next game message, you leave that there, it'll announce your game name. If you have a password, true will announce, say time, it will announce in about so and so seconds, new game will be up. Moving down, minimum game length. <clears throat> if you're running chaos, <clears throat> I suggest having this at about three minutes, so 180,000 milliseconds is what it goes by. What this is, if somebody hostiles you, kills your character, and you leave at one minute, it will wait another two minutes until it makes a new game. It is very good for preventing realm down or joining too quick. Scrolling down, we will go down here. Game, create game threshold, 5,000. On the side, I'll say time in milliseconds to wait between making games. I set this at about 12,000, and that is 12 whole seconds before it will make a new game. Everything else is perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and close out of that. Close out of that. Alrighty, so we closed out of everything that we were just editing. We will go ahead and reopen ETAL folder, D2NT folder, scripts folder, NTBOT folder, character configs folder. I am running a paladin. That's what my character is. 90% of people are. Everything else is set up exactly the same except for your skills at the bottom. For the most part. So we're going to set up a paladin for now. Highlight it. Control C, Control V. You want to copy it. Make a copy, and that's what we're going to edit. So you will do NT config underscore paladin underscore your character name. Very, very case sensitive. Mine is B, no capitals. If you put a capital, it will not run. We will open up B. Big screen it right here. NT config underscore script dot push. That very top one. Slash slash. Anything that you do not want to use or run, you put two backslashes in front of it, it will be gone. If you want it to do something, like a boss, which I'll show you in a second, we will remove those slashes. So, we will scroll down. Trying to keep this as fast as possible. If I went too fast, by all means, pause it. Gather yourself and go from there. So right here, there is a <clears throat> slash slash in front of it. This is setting up for a Diablo bot, Chaos. Remove those. Scroll down, seal only. If you're on Classic, you may want to use that, but most of us will be on Easy Pack. So, leave it as false. The S means it will start at the start. I recommend that because it saves you about 35 to a minute in runs. <clears throat> Time is vital. So we will go from the star. Your TP commands, if you have a follow bot following you, they will ask you this. So your not safe TP will just say hot. Your safe TP will say safe. Whenever it is about to kill Diablo, it will say mine is op monarchs over east. If you're gonna kill Bale, you can have it as the script end. I just change it for op monarchs 24-7 runs and trivia. Idiot message, when people hit seals it can mess it up, so I leave it as K hey, retard. Put token around. Change it to whatever you want. It's not relevant. I just like to keep the humor going. Right here, max game time is if your bot messes up, which it will, it will stay in the game until this time has passed, and then it will exit. I leave mine at about five minutes for chaos runs. That's all that it needs, because I don't pick up any items. If you do, you may want it to be longer, so I'd set it at about 500. I'll do 360 for mine, give it six minutes, a little bit extra. Okay, next, skip heal. If you have more than 90% of your life, you will not talk to an NPC to heal even though you'll do it to get potions and all that, so it's kind of irrelevant. Here, life threshold is how, how much life percentage you'll hit before you use a life potion, health pot. Rejuve is how much percentage you will get down to before you juve. I leave it at about 40. Mana threshold, I leave it at about 40%. Mana rejuve, never. Life chicken, I leave it at about 10%, which is normally fine. The bot's pretty good with not getting raped. Merc life, leave it zero, don't care about him, don't care about him. This is your inventory. 
your inventory, whatever you have, the zeros, it will keep there. So wherever your torch is, your small charm, your grand charms, you want those to be zeros. So the first four rows for me are empty, which means whatever is there, it will either sell, or if it's good, it will keep it in the stash. So we will put those there. It will not sell a TP tome. You can put a TP tome in there, your town portal tomes. You can put your identify tomes in there, whatever. Next part, health pot. Always go at the top. Mana pots go next, rejuves go next. I run one row of health pots, one row of mana pots, two rejuves. You can set it up however you want, but do not put rejuves at the top and anything else lower. It has to go in this order. Health, mana, rejuve. Always. These are your picket folders. I will show you how to edit those after this. I do not pick up anything. I let everybody keep the drops just because they need them and they appreciate them more than I do. I do not care about this game. So, gold, master gold, potions, runes, gems, ex blah, 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 blah. That will always be unchecked in order to pick up gold. If you want to pick up other stuff, you can leave it. I like to be nice to other people and let them enjoy this entirely too old game. Next part, general configuration, public mode, true, if you're running true, if you are not running, you're running private, magic finding by yourself, it can be false, check clone Diablo, will false, SOJ wait time, false, fast picket, leave that as it is, use merc, if you have a mercenary, true, if you do not, it is false, reset enigma, True, otherwise you will sit in game or you will start walking to chaos and you will probably die. Or leave the game. Use all your juves. Really hate yourself. So, quit ping zero, ping interval zero. Everything else is fine. We will go down now. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. First skill, I'm using a hammered in. If you use anything else, there is a skill notepad file. Open it up, find the skill you will be using or you will be using and go from there. Our first skill and primary skill is going to be 112. Our primary aura will be 113. Hammer is 112. Concentration is 113. Primary aura to others, 113. Secondary, if you run bail, the only immune problems you'll run into, change it to 101, which is holy bolt, or you can use smite as some people do, but with their decrep, it really is kind of pointless. And the next one, I just put is 112, 113. That is set up. Redemp here at the bottom. Check our time, six. Okay, good, still going, okay. Okay, your redemp down here at the bottom. Whatever you want, if you kill a mob, it will use redemp if you are below that percentage. We are going to save your bot is now set up. These are the skill folder, or the skill notepad I was telling you about. Check for your skills, whatever you need. So we're set up, MT Paladin underscore B, which is my character name. Case sensitive, once again, case sensitive. We'll go back. If you want to edit your item configs, which is your picket. Item configs, master is the one you always want to use. I do not use anything but gold, potions, runes, gem, as it says keys. That's the only one I use, because everything else is for everybody. Be careful editing these. One false move, you will screw up your bot. It will not run, I promise you. I changed this to about 2,000 because I like piles of gold and I don't pick up items, so I run out pretty quick. 2,000, everything else is fine. I don't pick up runes, so slash slash in front of the things you do not want. I don't care, perfect gems, we'll never pick those up anyways. Regular rejuves, don't like those. Everything else, save, we are done. Here we go, back to closing everything out. Etel, D2NT, Etel Manager, yes. <clears throat> okay, I will click run. I will type in my password, which I will not share with you, sneaky little devils. I will press OK. We will let this run. If you ever need to stop while you're in game or in channel, do not try escaping out of it. Just go ahead and click here and press stop. You'll see me do so in a second. When you get into game, if you need to do anything, press pause break and at the top where it says NT bot, it will say uh, bot paused. I'll show you this. 
paused, blah, 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 blah. Do this in town. If you do this while you are out doing anything, when you unpause, it will TP, come to town, and start completely over. Not good. So, that being said, you will see the bot run. I will probably fast forward through this little part. This isn't even my magic finding character. This is just an old character, but that's all I have set up. So hopefully he doesn't do anything embarrassing like die, and I can show you how it runs, but you see it running, everything runs like that. It will clear this little spot. It will TP, and if you've gotten this far, your bot is good to go. If you have not gotten this far, you didn't follow directions or something happened, but either way, here in a second you'll see him TP, he'll say a safe command, like I said, case sensitive once again. Wonderful, done. Alrighty, that concludes this video of downloading your eTal bot, setting up your eTal bot, um, your pickets, all that kind of stuff. Your bot is good to go. Any other questions can be PM'd at Pius and JSP, of course my JSP account. Um, you can post questions here in the comments, anything of that nature. I do apologize for my talking and how extensive this is, but like I said, some people just don't understand and I want to be very thorough instead of having to make 15 videos. I hope it helps. Inbox anything that you would want me to make for you. I will make a custom video. I love helping people. That's why I was put here. PM me. Thanks.